Coinbase has also announced this week, Jay, that this was the head of product, I believe. So his name is Max Brinsberg on Twitter. He tweeted out a thread saying, going forward, Coinbase is going to be storing more corporate and customer USDC balances on base. This enables us to manage and secure customer funds with lower fees and faster settlement times with no impact to the Coinbase user experience. So what's really cool about this is this doesn't matter for like the end user. What this matters for is Coinbase, the company itself that's managing all these funds. They have to pay so much in fees in the TradFi world. They also have to wait so long to get money from like one bank to the next bank. It can be very painful. And um, by moving on chain, it all happens instantly. You know, if they want to move $100 million, it costs, well, I guess about a dollar and five cents currently on base which usually it should be a couple of pennies, but we'll talk about what's going on with the base fees in a second. But either way, a dollar is pretty damn cheap to move $100 million. So Coinbase is really, this is really cool because Coinbase is paving the way for all the other corporations in the world who don't currently know why they should be moving things on chain, right? Again, this isn't an exciting thing for Coinbase customers. They don't care. Nothing changes for them. It's not a mainstream thing, but corporations seeing this, and when this comes out in their earnings report where they talk about, oh, we've saved you know, thousands, probably millions of dollars on fees by moving our assets on chain, this is going to be a really big deal. And I think they're going to sort of like pave the way for other corporations to do this. So you got BlackRock over here paving the way for the financial institution saying, here's how you can move funds on chain. And you've got Coinbase saying, here's how corporations can do things on chain. And so two incredible businesses that are the top of their industry, of their sector, sort of paving the way for the rest of the, the corporate world. I just think this is absolutely massive. But again, one of those things where it's boring to the rest of the world. If we think of last cycle, Jay, 2021, you had NFTs really lit it up. We had the culture that was moving on chain, right? You had musicians and artists and you had all the big brands launching on chain. So like it became so mainstream and everyone was talking about it. Everyone heard about it. But these things, no one cares. No one's talking about BlackRock's fun, except for like our small group on crypto Twitter and on like mm-hmm. TradFi Twitter or whatever. No one cares. No one cares about Coinbase moving their funds on chain, uh, which is like, to me, is like a really good thing because this is just improving the fundamentals of crypto without letting anyone know about it. It's like sneakily, we are just like crushing it on chain right now, moving billions of dollars on chain and no one knows, and no one cares. And I actually like that a lot more than 2021, where everyone's talking about it. Everyone's launching something and trying to figure it out. Now, I I think at some point this cycle, we will hit mainstream again. What that will be, I don't know. Maybe NFTs have their big comeback and we we make it back into the the zeitgeist. Or maybe it's meme coins. To be honest, that's my guess is what it is. I think Mm -hmm. meme coins continues to like become a bigger thing and makes its way into mainstream because it's just so simple. But the more that this stuff happens the more bullish I am because these are like the underlying infrastructure stuff that we need for this thing that we want to like really happen. You know, the NFTs of like Nike and Adidas and Reddit and whatever, it's like, eh, we could go without that. It's cool, but like, it doesn't really matter. But moving all of our financial instruments on chain, like that's a really big deal. It's so true. The thing, the simple truth right now that I want to make sure that everybody is not missing is like, Yes, finance is boring for most of the world. Like 99.9% of the world, finance is boring as fuck. But that is where all of our money is held, secured, traded, moved. So it impacts 100% of the world. I guess maybe not 100% because 3 billion people are still unbanked, but we're going to solve that too. Uh, We're not going to talk about (laughs) it. We're going to solve that. We're also going to solve that. But here's the thing. Here's what's happening. Every asset is becoming a token and every bank is becoming a chain. That is currently happening before our eyes and it's happening gradually. And then all of a sudden, it's going to happen suddenly. And that is where we are headed in this cycle. And that is so incredibly bullish for all of of the major chains that the banks are going to build on top of. And we're going to talk about a few of those chains in a minute. But, you know, whether it's base which is on OP and Ethereum, or whether it's another L2, or whether it's on Solana, all of these chains are going to win as a result of just the financial system. Forget NFTs. Don't even worry about any of that stuff. Even if none of that other stuff happened on chain, we are going to get there just with the financial revolution that we are doing it's, right now. Right. And by when we say boring stuff, it's stable coins. 
This yeah. is so massive. If we can just do stable coins, if that's all crypto solves is stable coins, like moving US dollars on chain, it is a massive unlock for the world and huge for all of our bags who hold Ethereum, Sol, and whatever. If we can get institutions like BlackRock to tokenize on chain, this is super, super massive. And that's these are the, all the things that are happening. And I'll tell you why this is such a big deal. Jay, I'm in Brazil right now. I tried to buy a surfboard yesterday, okay? Ordering it from a company that is in Brazil. And so I went online to try to buy it. Can't buy it. Why? Well, because my credit card is a Canadian credit card and their system just doesn't work with it because they don't have the right input for a postal code. They have their own postal code and my letters in my postal code, which is a zip code for those who are Americans, it doesn't work for that. And so I had to message them. I was like, hey guys, this doesn't work. Your system isn't set up properly. Need something new. So they sent me this different payment code. That doesn't work. My banks won't allow it because it's a Brazilian company. I was like, guys, I just want to buy the surfboard and I need it fast because I'm leaving the country. So they need to make it and like deliver it to me. So then they're like, okay, what else can we do? So then the guy goes, well, I got a US bank account personally. He's like, why don't you just wire transfer me the money? And I was like, God, okay, sure. Like this is a risk, but whatever, let's do it. So he sends me it. I go into my WISE account. They won't wire transfer to US bank accounts to Brazilians. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? So then I go to my bank. They'll do it, except it's a holiday tomorrow because it's freaking Easter. And so this won't actually go through until next week. And by then it's too late for them to start creating my surfboard to get it to me in time. So I have to drive a half hour to the city to find a bank to like give them cash to put it in this guy's bank account who will then go and pay for this thing for me who's in a a different city than me. And I was like, dude, will you please just take my crypto? Like I could literally get you this money in three seconds for like a penny. And he's like, sorry, we can't do that. I was like, God, please just update the financial system. (laughs) So this is the boring stuff is actually not that boring. It impacts everyone. So it would make my life a lot easier. (laughs) Hilarious story, first of all, that you want to surfboard that badly. Like is everybody... (laughs) Who's a new listener to this? You just learned a lot about Kyle and how much he loves to surf in that story. But also, that's a great point of how, you know, yeah, it's easy to say, hey, this is boring and it only impacts banks and large institutions. But here's a small business that you are trying to make a purchase from that needs your money and cares about every single sale that they make. And they, probably, I mean, they should have lost out on that sale. Let's be real. If it wasn't for the fact that you've wanted the surfboard so badly, right? <laughs> so we're not there yet, but we're going to get there. This is going to impact every single person, every single business in ways that people don't see yet. And it's happening. It's happening right now, guys. And yeah, that's just why we're so excited. 